Just uh, I finally got my uh, Marantz deck of the uh, repair, so my technician did a very good job. Absolutely, we just the tape deck is reborn. Okay, I bought it in horrible state. It just it was a complete disaster. You know the the so to understand what I mean, I show you. That was actually the glass. You see the glass? It was yellow. So it was so it was under the sun probably you know we barely tried to we barely fixed that, uh, the traces of the of that you know so uh, this is deck um, this is actually uh, it's very unusual deck very specific there's not many of them and very rare very rare you can get the, those yeah just recently on the market came up few of them and uh, they costly okay and why they costly? Because this deck SD eight two eight hundred two uh, is a br brother. It's a little brother of the main, very expensive Marantz deck is SD nine hundred thirty, the one with the auto azimuth. Yeah, so that one is going next to it, eight hundred twenty SD eight hundred twenty with DBX. Okay, so I low DBX. I think this is the notch. If you can get those so basically they are brothers you see those are decks together but SD 930 cost crazy money and look and but they similar they similar to DBX uh, to 820 DBX they similar similar everything except of uh, it doesn't have um, that MAAC system you know with the adjustment you know the azimuth adjustment but the Hertz Everything is very similar, so that's they they go side by side here. So as you could see, the difference between them. Okay, difference hertz. The metal is twenty to twenty two thousand kilohertz. Yeah, so it's pretty impressive. Pretty impressive. So they are. So yeah, and this is very rare deck as well. But recently, I said uh, this few of them came up. And I bought that one kind of, I could buy them cheaper, yeah, but uh, that would happen to me. So my uh, technician did a great job. Um, he replaced some, uh, he fixed few issues there. There was some capacitor was falling off as well. He replaced that. And I did record uh, some music on it so you could hear in the DBX and it's beautiful. It has some feature, you know, it has some uh, kind of... Uh, What's the signature of, of sound? Okay, but it's good. It's good. Uh, so um, th this is very unusual deck. Uh, it's a single capstan. 
Yes, sing, sing, single capstan deck, okay. One second. Yeah, single capstan. It's very good head it has, you know. Uh, very, very nice one. And uh, it doesn't have, it doesn't have the, you know, the monitor channel. Because it doesn't have any, any manual uh, calibrations, but it has compu calibration. Which is very sophisticated in this deck. It's very sophisticated. If you look at the manual service manual you see that's the something there you know it's not it's not simple deck anyway and uh, it worked nicely for me i recorded on the simple cassette you see on type one so that's how we do it and um, how, that's how we evaluate deck okay if that deck can perform yeah but i'm really impressed with this one and as well the sound i'm getting i'm getting it through amplifier as well so amplifier gives a bit uh it, it takes uh uh, amplifier kind of lifts it up, you know, the quality. So amplifier is essential, I think, for every deck. Okay, so let's listen a little bit more. Thank you. 